Hey, Mozipan Cat 099. Oh, so, can I struggle back to 2200 now? Um, if I beat this guy. Piers. I usually say perk for, sh for short, but uh, it's not the correct pronunciation. Queenside counterplay, Queenside space with b5, maybe even the d5 square. I wonder the knight g4, a bit provocative, I think, or knight d7 is probably safer. Queen c7, so sort of protecting that d6 pawn. Right, so I'm just trying to encourage white's centre. Um, if he wants to blow it up later in true hypermodern style. Mm. So maybe a5 and c5 is going to be annoying for white. It's annoying when I play the white side of this. It's, uh, black usually gets a good game if white's not careful. Just with c5 later. Yeah. Because this bishop's really like cutting into the center in these dark squares all the time, so c5 really adds extra weight to undermining d4. Alright, now f5 here would seem to be nice, to stop the f-pawn blocking this bishop. And I'll play f5. So trying for positional advantages. A6 and C5, or C5 straight away. C5 straight away drops the B5 pawn. So I think this is more cautious. A6 and then C5. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's do something about E6 though. Alright, now, what about Knight B6? Uh, Unfortunately, there's rookie one top. I chase this knight first before it does any more damage. It goes to h3. Uh, I've got d5 here. And maybe knight b6 to go to c4 and then connect rooks with knight bd7. Looks good. <clears throat> so, everyone getting knight c4 will be kind of heavy, I think. C4. Looks like a tasty move. Hmm. In fact, I'm tempted for Rook E4 to get um, a nice pawn there. Um, yeah, otherwise Knight D3 to E5 would be annoying. So yeah, I think that's a nice pawn to have on E4. I'm tempted for this exchange sack. Play G5 now. Let's be able to play Knight F6. So Knight G4, Knight F6. Hmm. Don't really want the Queen lurking around. The Light squares, uh, but I have to, I think, defend with this sort of move. Okay, so, Bishop F6, maybe, maybe the Queen over here can come to G7, or Queen G7, I think, is important. Okay, now maybe Bishop C8 or B4. And Bishop C8 first. Then maybe Knight D6. Okay. 
Tactical idea here. Knight takes f5, rook takes, bishop takes. Because then the queen takes bishop d4, but um, stopped all that. So I'm still the exchange down, probably for not much, but um, that pawn on e4, I just like it. Space advantage. Uh, right. Try undermining b4. I mean d4 with b4. I can nab the d4 pawn before returning to f6. That'll be good. In fact, that was almost, yes, yeah, almost dangerous for white here. Um, okay, queen f6. So I've got these potential past pawns now, so it's even more promising. Um, ah. Right, maybe the rook needs to be over here to defend g5. Or the h file. Right. If I play rook h7, queen e8, queen f8. C6 though, what about bishop b7? Stop losing c6, it's d5 as well. G7 there? Uh, Alright, see, I think I've mm, got king h8. Seven. No, should be seven. So is it going to some sort of ending or? These pawns can't be could be quite good. Right, what about Queen E7 here? Queen E7. Uh -huh. Now, King F7. That looks kind of interesting. I get in, um, oh, not, not there because of rook e4. I'll try and use the c file. Um, okay. I'm going to get my king to e5, and I'll support d4. And I'll take that because these pawns will be doubled. Now d4, this is looking kind of tasty because of e3. Uh, don't want to play king f4 first to avoid a rook sack, probably. Then e3 is all the more powerful. So e3 now. Um, or check. Check first on the seventh rank. It's always good. And now e3. D3 probably looks good. D3 because rook takes, D takes, and how is it stopping queening? Uh, rook takes E3 though. Uh, there's D2. Hmm. Um, in fact, D3, rook E3, there's rook E1, rook E1, D2. So even more tasty. Try that one. So rook C1 and D2 is the idea. Oh, checkmate. Hmm. 
So, a bit of compensation there generated, counterplay, difficult to play against um, at the speed this um, interesting exchange take. But otherwise, you know, White was going to play um, comfortable knight d3 to e e5, I didn't really like that. So, it's probably not sound, but it was, it was interesting, I think. Um, but this undermining gave, gave the potential for these two pass pawns in the centre. So, if I could just get the ending, which I did, which um, these pawns are kind of easy to, to liberate then. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube.